My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the creation of three different lobby layouts for three different types of sessions you might have in Adobe Connect. To begin with, let's start with a webinar lobby. To do that, I'm going to click on the New Layout button to create a new layout. We're going to create this completely from scratch, so I won't duplicate any existing layouts. I'm going to call this Webinar Lobby and hit Create Layout. This is a brand new room. One of the first things I want to do here is apply a background image. So I'm going to go to my meeting menu, down to preferences, and then choose a custom image. I've got one here I was using previously, so I'll select that and hit share. And then just make sure it's aligned to the bottom left hand corner where I've got my logo. I'll click done and now I've got a background image. For a webinar, one of the things that I want to share with anybody joining early is when the session will begin. So I'm going to start by adding a share pod with a countdown timer to my lobby. It's given me a nice big share pod on my stage. Let me resize that and open up my file explorer where I've got a couple of custom pods and other lobby assets that I'm going to use here. I'm going to drag in my countdown timer, which is a custom pod that I downloaded from apps.adobeconnect.com. And I can set this uh, to be a specific color. And then as we get closer to our session, I'll set the time. The next thing I'd like to add here is something that I can use to enable interaction. As people are joining the lobby, I want them clicking and using the interface. So I'm going to add a chat pod. I'll add a new chat pod here. I'm going to stick this underneath the countdown timer. And I'll change the title by double clicking the title. And I'll ask people to tell us where they're from. Perfect. Let me just resize this to align it with the countdown timer. And I'll also add some music to the lobby. So as people are joining, rather than hearing complete silence, we'll give them an MP3 file. Again, let me open up my file explorer here. And I've created a mix of about 15 minutes worth of music. I can put that on repeat so that for the first 30 minutes as people are joining, they'll have something to listen to. I'm going to tuck this down here in the left hand corner while people are joining. Next, I want to make sure that everybody knows that they've come to the right place. So I'm going to add another share pod and use this to share the event banner that I created to promote my session. So this is something that I created for the Adobe Connect events module, but you can create any image you'd like in whatever image editing application you'd like and simply bring it in either as a JPEG, PNG, or even a, a GIF file into Adobe Connect by dragging and dropping it onto a blank share pod. I'll go ahead and hide the title bar of some of these just to clean up the way it looks a little. Next, I'm going to add another image. So I'll add a new share pod. And I've got some housekeeping items. These are some questions that we always get as people are joining a session. Uh, like, is the session going to be recorded? Uh, where, where can I find the audio? So I've created a little JPEG image to provide some of that information for people who have joined the session. This is something that I could also use a notepad for. So I could go up to the pods menu and choose uh, notes and simply type this information out, but I thought it would look nice as an image. So again, I'll hide the title bar. And I'll resize this a bit to better suit the image. I'm going to add a poll pod to this lobby layout as well, again, to reinforce the idea that we want people to interact with the entire session. And if we can start reinforcing that idea right from the start, it'll hopefully help us provide a more engaging session. So we've got a poll pod here. Let's make this a short answer poll and I'll ask people what they want to cover. I'll open that poll up and I'm actually going to broadcast the results so people can see the results come in. Let me align this image with the other content I've got on my stage right now. And we'll add some more interactive content because this is a lobby. It might be fun to have a multiplayer game out here in the lobby layout. So I'll add another share pod. Once again, I've gone to that apps page at apps.adobeconnect.com and I've downloaded the rock, paper, scissors game 
called Connect Rochambeau. I'm going to add that to my lobby as well to provide a little interaction during the session. And once again, I'm going to choose to hide the title bar to clean this up a little bit. There's a lot on this lobby already, but I'm going to add one more piece of content. Uh, in this case, it's going to be another pod that I've created, but this could also be something like a PowerPoint slide where I've got some links that I want people to be able to click if they'd like. Um, so I've created a little promo pod that provides people with a link to the Adobe Connect free trial and the daily demo. This is a clickable pod. And again, it's something that you could do with a single PowerPoint slide that you've sized for your pod. Um, or in this case, I've created it with HTML and brought it into my session. I'm just gonna hide the title bar. And here is a look at my finished lobby or an example of a finished lobby that I could use for a webinar. Simply hit the play button on the MP3s uh, player whenever I'm ready to start. Let's take a look at creating something for a virtual classroom. I'm going to click the plus button once again. We'll start from scratch and I'll just call this my classroom lobby and hit create layout. For a classroom, I may want some of these same elements, but I want to, again, reinforce that idea of interaction as much as possible. Rather than having a countdown timer, I'm going to add a clock because what classroom growing up didn't have a clock in it. So let me resize this pod. We'll stick it up here in the top left hand corner again and I'll move to my file share and drag in the clock that I got from the apps page. Unlike a webinar, we probably want everybody to see who else is in our virtual classroom. So with our webinar lobby, we didn't want to include an attendees list, but for my virtual classroom, that's something that I'm going to include in this uh, lobby layout for the learners to come in. They can see who else is in the session. Again, we want them interacting with each other. So that's not information we want to hide in this session. I also want to reinforce that same interaction with another chat pod. So I'll add a new chat pod. We're going to make this one bigger. We really want to set the expectation in our virtual classroom that people are going to be chatting. They're going to be interacting. So I'll make this a lot bigger than I did even in the webinar layout. I'll just keep everything aligned here to the bottom. I'm going to add another image to this session as well. Very similar to the event banner that we added to the webinar lobby. I may have something for my classroom that I'd like to use. Uh, this could also be a set of slides. You could have them looping over and over again. It could be some instructions on how to use the virtual classroom platform. It could really be whatever you'd like. Even a video would work here. In this case, I'm going to just add a banner image. So I've got a little welcome image here. I'm going to hide the title bar once again. Because this is a virtual classroom, I may have some resources that I want to share with everybody in the class. That may include some files. So I'll add my files pod to the lobby. These may be pre-work or homework. And it makes sense to make these available as people are joining the session so that we're not taking up valuable time during the class. I'll also come back to these at the end of our session. In addition to that files pod where I can distribute some files, I'm also going to go and add a web links pod if I need to link out to other resources or other uh, information on the web. So I'll just get these aligned and we'll finish this lobby off with, again, another poll. We want to reinforce interaction as much as possible and it's best to start doing that right from the start as people are joining the session. In this case, I'm not going to add music. As an instructor, I typically like to have uh, conversations. I like to start talking as soon as people are joining the session. And before we begin formally, it makes sense to welcome everybody uh, and, and start that discussion. In this case, I'm going to create a multiple choice poll, though. And I'll ask people how they would rate their familiarity with the subject. I'll go ahead and open the poll. I'm not going to broadcast the results here. I don't want anybody to be embarrassed about how they answer this question. Okay, that's a quick look at a classroom lobby. Let's finish this off by creating a meeting lobby. Again, I'm going to create a new layout. We'll create this from scratch and I'll call this my meeting lobby. I'm going to keep this meeting lobby pretty simple and flexible. It's something I may want to use for meeting with different customers. So let's bring out that same clock that we used in the virtual classroom lobby. I'll put it in the top left-hand corner, just as before. 
And just like the virtual classroom lobby, I do want to include an attendees list. We want to see when a customer, for example, has joined our meeting room. So it's important that that attendees list is visible. And we want to give that information to everybody that's joined the different session. I don't have a static banner image that is going to work for lots of different customers in my meeting layout. So what I'm going to use here is another custom pod that again, I'll drag and drop onto this blank share pod here. This pod lets me add custom text over a background. I can change the background that's being used and I can use this to welcome Acme Corporation and continue to change that for each customer I'm meeting with in this particular lobby. And this may be a roadmap session, so I'll give it a subtitle there as well. Let's make this a little smaller. I could also use something like a video pod here. Maybe instead of that titler pod, I could have a video pod if we want to have everybody turn on their video as they're coming in. Um, or I could hide one behind the other so that we start with the titler pod, but at any time I can close that by clicking on hide and then having everybody turn on their video. Let me go ahead and add that title or pod back to my lobby layout here. We'll just tuck the video pod underneath it. Next, I want to ensure that everybody's got a place to chat. That's something that I include in every lobby. It's important to provide that mechanism for feedback. So we will align this underneath the title pod there. And we'll finish this off with the ability to take notes. So as we're meeting with a customer, for example, or somebody else on the team, we may want to take some notes or list the agenda or the meeting objectives. So I'll give this a title like meeting objectives. And we'll just finish off by aligning some of these, giving them a little more white space here. So that's a quick look at how to create three different types of lobby layouts for your Adobe Connect sessions. This one's for meetings. You can see a different one here for virtual classrooms and one for webinars. Each lobby layout is designed differently based on the needs of the session that's being delivered in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.